welcome to my farm page on YouTube. I have just begun this YouTube adventure. I've been on my Instagram account. You can follow me there at Kelly underscore green underscore acres. And we are focusing on regenerative agriculture here on our farm. We have five and a half acres. We have livestock for rotational grazing. Um, and we have a no-till farm that we are doing the lasagna layer method. So we have added cardboard as the first layer, about four inches thick, which actually kills all the weeds. And um, then we added a lot of rescued food that my husband would rescue from grocery stores and farmers that couldn't sell things or was about to throw it away into the landfill. And we utilized that rubbish to build on top of our no-till farm rows. And then we use a lot of our livestock manure from our chickens, our turkeys, um, pigs, cows, you name it. And we let that sit for a long time and layer that as well with um, sticks and some mulch. And so that's basically what our method has been is using resources that we have available. And I highly recommend for anybody to do the same thing with what resources you may have available, what you can have access to. And the reason why we're not digging and we're not tilling into the earth is the number one reason is carbon, <laughs> the carbon in the soil. And so we're not going to add to our global warming issue. A lot of the global warming, I believe, and the research I've seen is tilling of the earth, which is releasing carbon into the atmosphere, which is adding to our global warming issue we are all dealing with. Here I am in December, short sleeve shirt. It's warm as heck outside and we're like oh two couple weeks from Christmas so that's not normal and I'm in North Carolina so I'm doing what I can I'm doing my part my family is and so we're really focusing on regenerative agriculture and so I'm soon about to add all the leaves that I've gathered from our yard and add those to our rows as well leaf mold is a great nutrient fertilizer for gardens and so I just wanted to share with our purpose and our purpose of why we're doing what we're doing. And I highly recommend for you to do the same thing. If you're inspired, if you're willing, and if you're able, that would be incredible. Every little bit helps. And um, another reason why the carbon should be staying in the ground, when you till the ground, the carbon is released into the atmosphere, but plants, will actually photosynthesize that carbon when it's stored in the ground and turn that into oxygen for ourselves. And so that's actually what we need. <laughs> we need the plants to do the work. We don't need to till the ground and release that carbon ourselves. Plants would love to have all the biodiversity and the ecology under the soil and they will thrive. And when you till the ground, you're drying it out, you're reducing the biodiversity and the nutrient density in that soil. And so tilling is we're all slowly learning, I think, as a whole collective on our globe that tilling is not beneficial to our planet as a whole. So let's keep the soil intact. Um, another big reason why we don't want to till is that when you till, water will generally run over the surface and cause more erosion of your land and your soil, and you'll lose that amazing fertility of nourishment um, doing that, and it'll run off. But when you do not till your soil, the water sinks deeper and absorbs into that soil for all of those plants to be nourished and watered with. And so there's plenty of research, there's plenty of proof in the pudding here with what I'm explaining. And I just wanted to come on here and show my face and explain why we're doing what we're doing. We started our farm, well we bought our property in January of this year, and we've been working our butts off, building up layers and you know fencing and adding livestock rotational grazing um, pastures for them and we have another couple of acres we're about to utilize in the back of our forest for our pigs or our cows I'm not sure which one we want to use back there yet um, so anyway thanks for tuning in subscribe please because there's a lot more to come and follow me on Instagram as well there's a lot of other backstory on what we're doing um, that you can see lots of my things that I've been posting there so Kelly Green Acres Farm on Facebook and Kelly Green Acres on Instagram. And my name is Courtney Kelly, hence the name Kelly Green. We're going green. All right, guys. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for listening.